there's a lot of men out there that speak very monotone, kind of like, eh, that sounds pretty cool. Right on. They get away with saying, they, they like really like push it out, like, yeah. And it sounds normal. <laughs> Look at this tree. It almost fell down, but not all the way. This is uh, the week. This is the week where I get ready for some surgery on the top, if you know what I mean. There's a couple things I won't be able to do. Like, uh, no heavy lifting. Uh, I'm gonna have to take an entire break from putting things over my head and moving my arms around. <laughs> so, some of you guys like this little <laughs> facial hair patchiness going on. It's, uh, every man is different. Every man's hair comes in quite differently. Mine was really strong around here, but not so much here, here, here. Sideburns, where are you? <laughs> uh, also, another thing that happens is it's not very symmetrical. Like here, it's like, oh, nice, it's coming in a little bit. And over here, it's like, meow, whatevs. Just, just letting you know. It's not hair, growing hair on your face is not a straightforward process. And um, time wise, everybody's hair comes out uh, at a different time, at a different thickness, at a different, um, a different texture. And I try to touch people's faces with facial hair as much as I can. Like when, I, when I'm visiting someone, I like, to, I like to check out what they got going on and be like, hmm, hmm, could do, do some comparison and um, spread germs all around. <laughs> I've watched some good videos about uh, what to expect for top surgery and, um, you know, before and after and, and tips and so forth. And I, after seeing one or two, I felt like I was good enough informed, you know, on the website of each surgeon, they kind of give a play-by-play -play and um, some photos you can look at for reference. And um, I don't I don't really like to check those out. I don't like, um, I don't really enjoy watching reveals, which is kind of funny, you know, people take, taking off their shirt and being like, ta-da, this is what I got. <laughs> it's like, sometimes I'm like, ah! Even in person, I remember the first time long ago when someone showed me their chest after surgery, and I just, um, I just was like, please put it away, put it away. <laughs> and I think it, it's uh, most interesting to do the reveal maybe a year after, but um, <laughs> but for yourself, I think it's very fun and exciting to explore and look at. But to show other people, um, I don't know if I'm one of those. Well, those people, but maybe, maybe in the future I'll be like, every every video I make I'll have my shirt off, I'll be like, hey, it's hot outside. No, it was cold outside, but I went inside and it's hot, and so I'm taking my shirt off again. Surgery. It's kind of a big deal. It's an event, a major event. It's um too bad that transgender people have to have so much surgery. It's expensive, it's messy, um, it's, it's uh, invasive into your body. That's why I'm a real proponent of catching this early, catching this, you know, when you're still young, before your body changes so much that you have to pay all this money to change it back, change it to the right way. But people, about, people at work, you know, they're going to see me one day and I'll be like, hey everybody, what's up? Then they're gonna see me another day, a week later, and I'll be like, hey everybody, what's up? That's weird. But a lot of people keep saying, you know, a lot of people that I'm in touch with who know I'm transgender, they, they say, you know, cis people, they don't even notice. They're, they're not very observant. And it's funny how that's a little bit true. People have been helping me from point A to point B, even before this surgery, so much work goes into research, finding the right surgeon, figuring out if your health insurance will pay for it, if you're covered, figuring out how much money out of pocket you'll have to pay even if it is covered, but if it isn't covered then it's even more expensive. The price for surgery keeps going up, no idea why. Just to get to this point, to be able to afford this, so many people have stepped forward, you know, when I, um, I raised some money. And I, once again, I'm thankful and I'm going to be thinking about you every day for the rest of my life. How you 
open the door for me to be who I am. And, and that's even, um, even the people watching have given me so much confidence to express myself and to explore this out loud and the connections that we all make together, I just um, blows my mind. Another thing that I deal with as I go into surgery is just the fact that, you know, people at work care about me. They don't even know what I'm doing. Surgery sounds like a horrible thing, like something's wrong. But really, I'm just so excited. And I, every day I'm like a little giddy because I can't believe it's really happening and I've waited so long. And those are things I just can't explain to people who don't know this transgender part of myself. I can't be like, oh no, I've been waiting for so long. I've been waiting for like 20 plus years, <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, I just am somber. I'm like, yeah, just gotta, gotta get this done. Yeah, gotta get this done.